Hi there, welcome to Kebby Shaves. Very nice to see you, nice to be back here. It's Saturday as I film this, the 29th of September, so this will be the last sandalwood shave on camera for Sandalwood September. Uh, it's been very enjoyable, I've loved doing it, um, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching some of these videos that I've been using sandalwood soaps and creams. Very interesting, as I say, they're all different, uh, and today's is no ex exception. Um, the soap for today uh, is a, a UK artisan and it's uh, OSP, the Obsessive Soap Perfectionist. This is a sandalwood scented shaving cream. Uh, this is a cream and it's a very, very soft cream. Um, as you can see there, it's, it's, it's almost runny in consistency. But um, I'll give it a go. I don't think I've used this before. It has a light, quite a light sandalwood scent quite a, a sweet sandalwood scent out of the tub, probably about a two or a three, uh, that might change once it's lathered up, but um, yeah, James Riley, OSP, Obsessive Soap Perfectionist, UK Artisan, I'll give you a look at the label, the ingredients are round the side and you can pause that right there, yeah, the ingredients are round the, the edge of the top here, uh, there's no tallow in this, um, so I'm assuming it's a a vegetal soap, a cream, vegetal cream, sorry. But um, most of James's soaps have tallow or tallow based, but he may, I think he was changing the, the formula for his creams, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Uh, I've got a new razor and a new brush to use today. Uh, I'll show you the razor. This is the Blackland Blackbird. Um, very nice, all stainless steel. Made in the USA, yeah, beautiful. Look at the head on that. Very, very nice. It's a three-piece razor. You screw it apart like so. Um, I'll just put the handle down. Um, it's nicely machined, as you can see. Beautiful, beautiful. Great condition. Uh, and I like that they have uh, these kind of longer posts, which uh, slot into here meaning there's no kind of movement. I bought this um, from a guy in the States. Some of you might know him from Facebook forums. Um, he's very active in the forums. Uh, he's probably, well, not probably, he is the most generous man I know uh, when it comes to wet shaving. Uh, and that, his name is Oive Chapo. Uh, so Oive, Thank you very much. I bought the razor from him and he sent over a package and inside the package was a few other things and one of the things was the brush that I'm going to be using today. Uh, he sent this in the package along with two soaps. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Brand new soaps, a brand new brush. Uh, so I'm going to be using that today. As I say, I bought the razor from him but I wasn't expecting uh, everything else in the package. So thank you very much, Ivy. I really appreciate your generosity. Um, and if I can repay you at any time, please let me know, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, so here's the brush anyway. This is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the Atomic Rocket. 26mm uh, synthetic, it says it on the bottom there, like on the rocket. Yeah, very nice brush. It has the same knot as the, uh, the big Sterling Kong, but this one is slightly different. Shaped handle, quite a long handle. It feels very comfortable in the hand. Yeah, synthetic brush, as I say. So, very, very good. I'm looking forward to using that. Um, I'm just checking everything here today is from uh, Artisans, except the blade. Everything else I'm going to be using is from Artisans, either in the UK or the US. So, um, very good. That's the brush. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, the razor, the Blackland Blackbird. Uh, so I'll just put the, show you the blade that I'm going to be using. A brand new Permasharp. And here it is here. So I'll just take this out of the wrapper. It's uh, Saturday here. How is your weekend going? What plans do you have for the weekend? Other than shaving, of course. Everybody enjoys a shave at the weekend. Yeah, so I'll just put the blade in there. Yeah, as you see, a little bit um, 
these tabs fit the blade perfectly. Put that in there and I'll just screw the handle on. Check the alignment. Wow. Absolutely bang on. If you can see that there. Look at that, that is beautiful. Yeah, real um, real piece of craftsmanship this razor. Nice handle. It just has lines on it, but it's, it has a good grip. Uh, that's this little bit at the bottom. There it is there. Yeah, very nice. 303 stainless steel. Um, all made in the USA. Okay, uh, let's wet the face. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bowl out of this cream, although it is very soft. I'm gonna do something that I never ordinarily do: the cream. And that is, uh, I'm just gonna dip the tips of the brush into the cream and just gather it on the brush like that. I don't like usually putting um, damp brushes into creams just in case they go bad, you know, with the, with the moisture and stuff, I usually scoop out a bit and either put it on the face or put it in the bowl, but... Um, okay, I've just given that a couple of flicks. So there is there. Right, so here's the cream, so I'm just going to swirl the tips like that, give them a little push in, and I think that'll be enough. That doesn't look much on the brush, does it? You're probably thinking, that's not enough for you, Kevy. You like like 16 tons of cream in your brushes. <laughs> well, I think that looks... If it's not enough, we'll go back. But um, I think this will be enough. So I'll just paint it on with this big old daddy knot. Put some water in it now. Yeah, these uh, these creams whip up very easily, and with a brush like this, with this big soft knot, there's uh, there's no problems with it at all. I'll just dip the tips again. There's a a fibre from the brush. It's okay. First use of the brush, brand new brush. Um, it's only to be expected. I'm just working this cream in. Yeah, the scent on this has um, it's changed a little bit. As I said, just dipping the tips of the brush again. Out of the tub, it was um, probably about a did I say a two or a three or a three or a four? It's maybe about a four or a five now. Not a strong sandalwood scent. Just putting more water in that brush. Trying to get the desired consistency that I want. Look at that from just a little bit of cream on the on the tips of that brush. Carriage police. <laughs> We've missed them for the last few shapes. Yeah, look at this. Dipping them again. This is a very thirsty cream. But that's good because um, the more water you add, look at that. <laughs> the shine on that, can you see that? I hope that's coming through. Yeah, the more water you add, <laughs> the more water you add. The, you're looking to get a shine on the uh, on the cream or the soap just at the end here and uh, that means that, that you've added enough water to it and it's, uh, that's what adds to the, the slickness some creams and soap take uh, more water than others you can add more water, I'm just dipping the tips again look and you can and you can see it's still it's, uh, it's starting to change. It's falling in the water here. <laughs> yeah, some people say when soaps aren't slick, they've um, 
they've maybe not added enough water to them. But this seems to be good. Look how much is in that brush. Yeah, can you see, see the, the shine on that? Hopefully you can. Okay, let's get um, tidied up here before we start. All these little rituals that we have. And we shall let that water go. Okay, I'm going to keep it this way. Okay, the Blackland Blackbird. First use, first time I've ever used it, so you guys are seeing it. I've heard this is quite a, a, an efficient razor. It's a 0.58 millimeters blade gap. Let me turn that away. It's uh, 98 grams uh, and the handle and stuff is 85 millimeters. Okay, here we go. Smooth. It has a it has a similar feel to the Blackland Dart, but I mean I've only shaved it. But I've only took a few strokes uh, with this razor, but it feels smoother. For me. Uh, and the the dart. It's a uh, it's a lot of money for this razor. I think it's about uh, one hundred and eighty dollars US. Um, Um, I'll put a link to the website and you can go and check it out. Will it give you a better shave than say a, a 20 or 30 dollar razor or probably not. Just the same but it's still you still put a blade in it and it cuts hairs, but um, I guess it's the uh, it's the workmanship you're paying for. You know, it's, um, people need to make this on machines and stuff. And it's not a uh, they are mass, produ mass produced. They take time to make. But very good, I like it. It feels very comfortable. Nice, nice to hold in the hand, a nice weight. And because it's stainless steel, it will last you, if you look after it, a lifetime. Easy to manoeuvre under the nose there. Okay, that's the first pass done. Nice slickness from the OSP cream. Let me rinse and come back for pass number two. Okay, let's go with pass number two with the Atomic Rocket. I love the colours of this brush. It's kind of got a, an old school vibe to it. But uh, great. <laughs> Look at that. There's another little bristle. Yeah, um, 
Douglas Smythe at um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement he knows what he's doing. He's a very passionate guy when it comes to wet shaving. Um, he knows lots of the history about it and stuff like that. Beautiful, look at that. Very nice. Okay, second pass across the grain of the hair. Um, <laughs> when I was doing this uh, Sandalwood September uh, series, someone suggested uh, using the OSP sandalwood. He said, uh, can you use OSP sandalwood? And uh, I commented back, I think I have some of that. And uh, someone left a comment saying, um, it must be bad if your subscribers know what soaps you have and you don't. And uh, I'd, I'd totally forgotten all about it. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad you asked. And who was it asked? I think it was um, Craig Simpson. So Craig, well done. Well done for asking for the OSP cream. Yeah, I've had a little um, pimple there. So I'm just trying to be careful. The feedback on this razor. Uh, having a look to see is the blade all enclosed there's probably about I don't know whether you can see there maybe about half a millimeter sticking out can you just see it at the size there you could barely feel it just a tiny little bit It's a, it's a good weight in the hand and it is very smooth. Yeah, so have you been, uh, are you waiting to shave the weekend? I'm not sure when this will get uploaded. Uh, are you waiting to shave or have you already shaved? It's uh, it's Saturday morning here as I film this. And listen to this because you won't hear it often. It is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here in Scotland. We're almost at October and the sun is shining. What? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, we've had the heating on. <laughs> the central heating has been on already. Um, yeah, it's been a bit windy, it's been a bit windy, so um, oh, it's a little chilly at night. Put the heating on for an hour. <laughs> okay. Why am I telling you that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, pass number two done. Nice reduction in the beard, actually. Not much left, but I'll do it one more pass. Some pickups if we need them, uh, but I'll get cleaned up, rinsed off, and uh, I'll see you for pass number three. Okay, that feels great. Very slick. I could probably shave actually without any cream there. It's so slick. I'm not kidding. It's unbelievable. Okay, back for pass number three. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know what goes on in my head. Whatever goes on in my head, it comes out. Still a nice consistency to this cream and this brush. Yep, 
yeah, it's super soft, very comfortable. You can see the bottom of the handle has these little uh, shapes which fit the hand for gripping perfectly. Yeah, as I was saying, um, <coughs> excuse me, my voice hasn't been warmed up properly yet, so it's a little bit rough. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, this is an expensive razor, but Christmas is coming. Okay, pass number three against the growth. Great feedback. Great, great feedback. Yeah, you can hear it there, look. And uh, the reason I chose a Permasharp to go on this, I know that they work well for me. Yeah, I know they work well in uh, most razors. So um, that's what I wanted to use. It's uh, easy to find the angle on this razor. And uh, I didn't show you the bottom of this lovely big channels there for the, for the ladder to pass through. Yeah, very good. Just the moustache area now. Okay, three passes done, let me have a little rinse feel. Tiny little bit there. Yeah, just around here and here. I think down here. Moustache feels good and a little bit up there. It's always on this um, it's still my jawline here and my uh, when I was using cartridge razors I would um, 
they get to this job it and I would put some foam on there and they would just <laughs> dig in and they'd be a big rash. But um, it's still, it's coming off now with this. Doing the pickups with this, but um, that's coming up for three years. I've been wet shaving. Three years uh, shaving this way and my skin has never looked or felt better. Yeah, it feels really nice. Just with using good products every day. Uh, Which is on stuff on my face every day. Nice balms and stuff. That's good. What a shave. Nice slickness, okay. Let's see how much this knot will give up. Clean. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay, you know the drill. Face wash. I'll leave this on, clean my gear out, uh, rinse it off with cold water. I'll see you for the post shave. If you haven't done this face wash thing, don't waste your lather. Just try it. If you feel it works for you, great. If you think, Kevy, you're talking shit. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> but give it a go. At least try it. <laughs> what a shave. Very nice. Even go like that, nothing there at all. Complete BBS. Okay, uh, no witch hazel or alum or anything like that today. I'm going straight into the aftershave and carrying on uh, the sandalwood theme. I don't think I have any sandalwood aftershave, but I came across this and I thought, oh, that's different, that will uh, be fine. And it's another artisan, and this time it's from uh, Scotland. Uh, this is Bart's, um, and it's, uh, if you can see that there, it's argan oil infused rosemary and sandalwood aftershave lotion. Yeah, comes in these little bottles, um, little pump here. You only need a very small amount, and I'll show you. One, two pumps. And uh, can you see it there? Yeah, it's because it's got argan oil in it. It goes uh, a little, goes a very long way. Oh, what a nice scent. Really nice. Yeah, you can see that going on my skin. It's uh, it's a little bit oily, but it, it dries in pretty quick. It kind of reminds me of uh, Nivea Too Faced. But this is a much nicer scent. Yeah, I'll put the links for everything I use. Uh, where I can in the description of the video. Very nice, wow. Yeah. And uh, Bart's Balm is a, Bart's Balms or Bart is a, a Scottish company. So good to support uh, local artisans. And remember, if it's not Scottish, it's crap! <laughs> yeah, very good. And I'm going to finish it off with Bart's Balm uh, Lavender. This is the aftershave balm. Uh, let me just show you the ingredients in this. I don't know if that will uh, pick that up on camera. Let me see. Yeah, it's not the best. You may be able to see it there and pause it. Uh, again, just two pumps of this. One, two, a little bit there. Got a nice thick balm, put the lid back on. And the good thing about this is it's very natural smelling. Yeah, they do lots of different scents. If you have a look at the website. Based here in Scotland. Brilliant. Bart's Balms, brilliant. Very good, wow. My skin feels incredible. Yeah, look at that shave. Very good, very close. Ooh. That's me ready for the weekend. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, how many people have left now? Oh, yeah, one, two, three, so, 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 279, 352, 1286. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nice shave, what a nice shave. Okay, let's go over what we've used again. The last shave for Sandalwood September. Boohoo! But we'll move on to October the Dother. I can't think, think of anything that rhymes with October. <laughs> uh, the soap was OSP, the cream, sorry. OSP Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Very, very good. Easy to lather. Great protection. Slickness was whoosh, off the scale. Excellent. Uh, there's the cream there. Very, very soft cream. Not a strong sandalwood scent by any means, but um, it done the job. Very, very good. The brush we used to whip up the lather. Thank you, Ivy. Uh, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Atomic Rocket, what a great brush, really, really nice. Um, I know there's a lot of brushes coming out of China and stuff just now, but um, you do yourself a favour if you get this one. Very, very good. Yeah, there's lots of brushes now coming out, all different knots and styles and shapes, and but this one's very comfortable to hold. Great brush. Um, the razor, star of the shave for me, the Blackland Blackbird. Fantastic, very smooth, um, very efficient, doesn't feel aggressive, is that going to focus? Yeah, it doesn't feel uh, aggressive to me, uh, just very smooth, very efficient, which I like. If you use a light touch, uh, you'll get on fine with this. Nice handle, nice grip, nice weight, nice, nice, nice. Everything about it is nice. I really like it, I'm glad I bought it now. Yeah, I'm, I'll have to compare this to the Dart, the Blackland Dart, I'll do a comparison video, but uh, it's out on loan to somebody at the moment, so I don't have it here, so uh, once I get it back, I will do a review of both of them, see how they are. Uh, we then had a face wash with the remainder of the lather, if you've not done that, try it. Uh, and then the post shave was Bart's Argan Oil Infused Bam, uh, Bam, Aftershave Lotion, I'll show you the ingredients in that one if it will focus... There you go. It's trying to focus on my hand, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sandalwood and rosemary. Or rosemary and sandalwood. Very, very good. Very good stuff. And finished it off with Bart's Balm Lavender. Again, this is argan oil infused, as you can see there. Love it. What a great shave. Ready for Saturday. Uh, I hope you are too. That up there is uh, six bars of Imperial Leather Soap. I sometimes put things up there just to just, just to give you guys a little focus um, and so you don't have to look at my ugly moosh. <laughs> I don't know whether you'll find that interesting or not. Oh, bars of soap. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, that's all from me. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. I hope you're having a good weekend and uh, enjoying it and uh, relaxing. And I hope it's Bright sunshine where you are too, because it's beautiful here. Beautiful. Uh, I'm off to not do a barbecue. I don't know what we're going to do. We're uh, we're just going to relax and catch up on jobs about the house. But um, that's my shaving, and uh, feels great. Uh, end of San Sandalwood September. Very good. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. And until the next time, I will see you soon. Have a good weekend, and I love you all. See ya.